Last year, I quit my job, sold most of my possessions, and hit the road in my flatbed truck camper. I had one of the best years of my life. This is a throwback series posted once every Thursday on the untold stories in the Dodge Mahal. In last week's episode, we were mobbing the 395 in California, headed towards Reno, and we found this super sweet lake camp spot right on the side of the highway and decided to call it home. So, let's hang out at the lake. Good morning, everybody. We're cleaning our AeroPress. Coffee's going, which means I'm going, and Coda is going as well. She's uh, quite the explorer here today, quite the cliffside explorer. Where is she? She just went over here, yeah, look at it. So she had to traverse this gnarly cliffside to get down to the coast. And now she's over there. <laughs> she is so funny. She just loves just literally trying to cover as much ground as possible around camp. Oh yeah, and there's the highway. <laughs> uh, just goes to show you don't always need to do some super gnarly overlanding to have a good camp spot. Not great, not amazing, but very good. Um, this is very good, I would say. <laughs> Nobody else here. Uh, only thing I gotta deal with is the sound of cars driving by and these pesky boats. No, I'm just kidding. I saw a boat ripping by earlier and I was like, yeah, woo, he's down to mob. Uh, but anyways, Topaz Lake, that's what this is. Um, beautiful little lake here. We're, we're gonna enjoy our coffee. I'm gonna wash some of my towels in this lake because I, uh, I spilled beer on my bed last night. <laughs> so I put, <laughs> I put a beer on my bed to get up and go get something. And then I just sat right down and sat on the beer and it just exploded everywhere. So I had to use all the towels I have to soak it up because it's my only bed. There's no other, I can't go sleep on the couch or anything. So uh, yeah, now all my towels smell like beer. I don't know in the next lake or river or body of water I'm gonna be at that I can wash them for free. And I certainly don't wanna to go to a laundromat just for those. A lot of things like that on the road that it's like, you have to deal with them right away. And I think that's one thing I really like about this lifestyle is I'm such a procrastinator and you can't procrastinate things like this when you're living in a truck and it forces you to live in the moment, to do things now. You might be asking yourself, don't you have onboard water? And the answer is, yeah, I got 30 gallons of it. But to be quite honest with you, I much prefer doing that rather than getting the outdoor shower out, setting it up, spraying stuff with a light spray. I mean, that's a full dunk. It was so cute. She's looking at me like, what the fuck, dude? I'll get you up, hold on. She's like, this is way taller. It is. It's way taller. Uh, ah, ah, even I almost fell. <laughs> so we got a little bit of trash right there. But look at this. The camper floor is literally up to my nipples right now. Um, <laughs> it's because we're on this big old rock here. But, uh, and this really slanted shoreline, so we had to get level that way. But yeah, I got to lift Coda up because I don't have the stairs set up. And usually she can hop right up, but that's a big gap. She can't do that. Okay, Bina, go. Good girl. All right, even for me, this step is like, ugh, ugh. All right, so while our towel's dry, we're gonna do some editing. And again, I've got the top down, just by choice. It's kind of cozy like this, but check out the view. So we got the pad here, which like I said, is a little cumbersome, but um, it makes the bed really comfy. 
Coda Girl can have a spot over there. Got a nice view out this window of the lake. Got my coffee editing station. And a beautiful view of the window, or out of the lake, out the door here. So yeah, this is kind of what we're working with. Um, huge table, plenty of space when we're set up all in the dinette, and uh, plenty of space for Coda to hang out. You could even have somebody else over there editing video as well. I could scoot my computer forward and they would have plenty of space um, to sit over there. And maybe a third person, you know, you could sit comfortably if Coda was like here and you had this stood up. Um, but with the top down and the pad in, three or four people is what's comfortable. Uh, you, we fit about five or six around this dinette pretty comfortably though. Um, and then if someone wants to and the top's up, you could sit on the fridge as well. The fridge, uh, you can, yeah, you could sit right up on that fridge. So <laughs> you could sit a lot of people, you could sit someone on the sink, you could, you could just sit them everywhere. You could have babies up here. No, just kidding. Um, but yeah, this is what we're working with today. So as those towels dry, Coda, he's so funny. He's always looking at me like, who are you talking to? I seriously think she's always wondering, who am I talking to when I'm videoing? Uh, anyways, we're going to get some video done while the towels dry, and then we'll make our way into town to do some more errands. Funny is if this guy were here, uh, he would tell this guy that I pulled him out of over here. Yesterday. All right, we upgraded Coda to a way more comfy pillow spot and blanket spot, and we moved the pad over there. So that's working better right now. Now she can cuddle with dad as we edit. Right, girl? Yes. This is how stuck we got the other day and how much we roosted. We roosted up the hatch. That's all mud. Speckles. Like, how crazy is that? All right, round two. Really hope this works. I want to work tenor. If you missed that video, check it out on my homepage under my off-road recoveries. It was pretty gnarly! Look what I just found again. Some more carcass stuff. It's like a deer foot. I'm surprised Coda didn't come back with this. She probably knows after the last time I yelled at her. And then some other bones. And actually, come to think of it, we found a spine on the side of that hill earlier. So yeah, there's some stuff out here. <laughs> We're gonna head into Reno now and uh, complete our errand. to a good spot right here it looks like holy cow what the frick is happening man this is terrible my stuff is completely broken down I don't know what's happening or something. 
And so it begins. The start of the Dodger Mahal falling apart and me continuing to drive it all the way to Alaska and the Arctic Ocean. So stay tuned for next Throwback Thursday when we figure this whole mess out. But before then, this Saturday, the Jeep Gladiator Build Series is starting. It's an epic time in Down to Mob history, so make sure you're subscribed as one of the exclusive 100,000 subscribers. And stay tuned, I'm going to be doing a big 100,000 subscriber giveaway. So comment below and let me know what you might want to win uh, of the products that you've seen on the channel. And I'll try to get you guys hooked up with some really cool giveaways. Of course, hit the like if you enjoyed the video and check out the link to my Patreon if you really want to do some back-end support to the channel. The only question is, are you down to mob? Woo! -woo.